Hey everybody, it's time to roll the wind. Let's do this again. Let's do it again with a little different uh, grip and toss. Sometimes it's hard to finesse that toss down there right where you need it. <clears throat> There's still some finesse with this. You don't try to do the spin. I did it just a little bit the other day in a video. I don't even know if I released it. I'm going to do, I'm going to take these dice. I'm going to set them up. I'm going to lay my fingers right on top. Push them. I missed it because I got them so far from my body. I'm going to take and just roll them and grab them on the cut edge, just like that. I'm going to do a cut edge toss. I'm going to lay it down here flat on the cut edge and just lob it. No spin. See what happens. Um, that was a seven, so we'll watch. It might not be the set that we need to be using from this location. I'm just going to take them move a little further into the camera here. Right. Take it, lob it close to the wall, hard four. Four's the point. part is learning how to grip the dice. Some people will take them and stack them. Come in and pick them up. To me that's complicated. I just like to take them, just roll them a little bit, grab the other cut edge with my thumb, then I've got it locked in. I'm just going to take it Try to drop it close to the wall. Four two six. I do want it to land flat. That one did not land flat. You saw how that dice came popping back. You know, cut edge down there. So I did a bad job on that toss. Six two eight. You see, they're sitting down pretty good down here. If you're a baseball picture or something like that, it's just kind of a lob. You're just lobbing it down there with virtually no spin, preferably none. That's what I'm doing, or what I'm trying to do. Four two six. Take repeater bets all night. I'll take repeater bets over and over. Would like to make a point. It's not necessary. As long as I roll for a couple of hours. Just take it down. I've got it. I don't have it back into my body either. I've got it kind of even with my shoulder, under my armpit. Just a little lob. Got an ace deuce. Some people will call this a little short on that toss, but we got a hard four again out of it. Hard 
four. That's not bad. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six tosses. Made the point. L but one is a box number. That one, five, three, eight. That one seemed to hit the dice over there, seemed to hit this dice here and get kicked. It's going to happen. All you can try to do is get your set, your stance, get your feet flat, get your knees straight to the table. Sometimes, if I'm having trouble, instead of lining them up square, I'll turn them just a little bit. It's a little more of a natural roll to pick them up. Let the dice sit down right there. That's pretty. That's a nine. I like the way those just set. Touched the wall and came back and just set. All about making adjustments, practicing those adjustments. A little short, six three nine. Anyway, some people would call this a Yuri grip. It's not really. I would say it's a Yuri style of grip. A Yuri grip, I've seen pictures of it and I can't control it my fingers. Uh, I'm nowhere near coordinated. I'd have to have three hands to get one hand on the dice. I am not, I don't even know how you go to, about starting to set that up. I've seen pictures of it. I've tried to figure it out. And I couldn't get it. You were close. A little short again. Got a five two seven. So see that one's gonna be on me. This dice here, both of them landed way up here at this pass line instead of back here. Five two. All right, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a good number. That's a break-even, small profit number on most betting situations. One ace deuce. So everything we threw that way was paid. Again, you just take it. Some out here a little further. I'm just throwing it. If you have trouble gripping them, rotate it. Rotate it out a little bit, 30 degrees or so. It's more natural to your hand, I think. Once you got it, you got it right there, like so. So it's really a three finger grip on the edges. Yuri like but not a Yuri grip. It's also a grip that if you're into the pendulum stuff, you can put a lot of rotation on that. If you're up in the back, I've seen a lot of guys. For me, it's the most natural to throw a drop shot with that grip. I'll take, I'll take eight box numbers to one horn number lot. Be happy with it. It's a small win. It's not going to be a big win, obviously. But you got your money back off the table, depending on where you're at and your bets. You hit the four as a point. You got an eight as a point. Shooter screwed up through a seven. Two nines, two sixes. Unless you 
pressed heavy on the first six and nine, and I never pressed the first nine or the first five. If I'm on them, I take the money on the rack, the first five and nine. If I'd have been a $25 table, you know me, I'd have gone to 42 on the six, took a quarter off, I'd have lost seven. I would have had a hit, lost seven on an eight, lost my pass line, would have made my pass line bet, which would have been at least single odds back here on that four. Like I say, it's a break even or a small win, that's, that's, that's still a win. So practice that, look at it, see if you can grip it. If you don't have a dice station, but you've got some old dice, Learn the grips. Practice them. Use them in your car. Use them in your office. Wherever you're traveling. Maybe you can't throw it any better than I just threw that one. But just practice the grip. Get your hands used to that. Practice, and you've really got to practice making that. If you're going to try this in a live casino, you've got to practice that grip. Anybody can go down here and get a three finger grip and throw. This one takes a little effort to get used to doing that. Or it did for me. So y'all practice like you play. Play like you practice. And let's roll to win. <laughs>